So for me, our emergency service workers do, uh, do an amazing job day in, day out, and they don't do it for the plaudits, they don't do it for the praise and recognition, they want to get on and do their job. And I think uh, assaults against them in their course of doing their job um, are a real travesty. So my mission has been to not only highlight the issue, campaign for um, increased penalties, and ultimately ensure that the number goes down instead of up, because I think once somebody's uh, given um, their commitment to keep us safe, the least we can do as a community is look out for them. Hi, I'm PC Bramley, based at Mallonsgate Police Station. Uh, yeah, my second day when I was being tutored, I was met with a drunk, uh, aggressive male who was in a play park. Um, it made me feel that I could be assaulted at any time, uh, just purely because of his demeanour with me. And... Yeah, it was a worry, um, but I did, uh, I was a special beforehand, so I, I was exposed to a, a slight bit of policing, so I was partly um, ready, but doing it full time, it just is a lot more intense, I'd probably say. Make you feel really sad. Um, the coronavirus in, uh, in recent months has brought many sections of our society together. You know, it was uh, really awe-inspiring to be stood on doorsteps with uh, hundreds of thousands of others across uh, you know, our communities uh, applauding our emergency service workers. And yet at the same time, some sections of our society use the pandemic against police officers. Coughing and spitting, you know, a real rise in something like that to being used against police officers. And for me, I think our community say loud and clear that's unacceptable. And I, as Commissioner, will make sure um, that we not only give the protection to frontline officers, make sure they've got the right equipment, supporting uh, the Chief Constable in that, but also making sure when it does happen, those responsible are given the appropriate punishment by the criminal justice system. Uh, if I went through that type of situation being spat at, I think it would just bring unwanted stress on me, uh, just purely because not only they might be giving me COVID, they might be infecting me with HIV or hepatitis and the results for that can take numerous amounts of months. Uh, so it's just stress that I shouldn't need to have to go through. Yeah. I think an increase uh, in uh, the uh, custodial uh, limit for the punishment around assault of emergency workers is absolutely uh, the right thing to do. I think uh, the receptions of our community need to know that when they commit these horrible crimes there is a, a significant punishment behind it. I also think it's what the, what the public want. Um, there is huge support out there for our emergency service workers and it's right that uh, any assault against them um, is treated with uh, the utmost gravity and I think an increase in sentencing would be very welcome.